Your numbers and my numbers, I mean, we're off just by fractions. You know what I mean? But that's just the differences between our programs and the hand controller and all the communication. But we're looking in the same field of view with the numbers you're giving me and the numbers I'm looking at. Yeah, we're both in the same spot, right? Like we just found out they're satellites, right? It's confirmed that they're satellites. But it was one hell of a ride. It was fun. It was exciting. And we finally identified them as a uh, grouping of satellites in geosynchronous orbit. It was a fun ride, man. Even though they ended up being satellites, it was awesome, dude. You know what I mean? Thanks, Daz. I, dude, I really do appreciate it, bro. <laughs> I really do appreciate it, man. Yeah, it was a good find, Daz. I really do appreciate you running through the catalog for me, man. And let's not forget this little discussion between myself and Dark Sky Watcher 74, Tree of Might also known as Wake Up America on his Facebook page, I sent him a message and I asked him, hey dude, how come you have made no mention of the fact that these four objects were positively identified during your Ustream broadcast? I identify these four objects as being four geosynchronous satellites, Echo Star 17, Anik F1R, Anik G1 and Anik F1. You even agreed with my findings because I was able to tell you the right ascension, declination and altitude azimuth coordinates of these objects and you confirmed that the data I gave you was the same as your telescope settings. So why have you not mentioned this information? Are you deliberately trying to make this sound more mysterious than it really is? Why are you hiding the truth about the identity of these objects? Why haven't you given the data in the description of your video? By the way, these four objects were not in deep space as your title suggests. They are in geosynchronous Earth orbit of approximately 37,000 kilometers altitude. And of course, Dark Sky Watcher 74, Tree of Might, replied, because it's in the three hour video that we identified them. Would that be the three hour video that has been deleted from Dark Sky Watcher's uh, channel? And he goes on to say, I mean, come on, dude, you can't burn people right off the bat with that. You've got to let them take a ride for a little bit and enjoy it. It is in the video that they were identified as satellites. So don't worry, no one is duping anyone. Really. So if you're a subscriber of Dark Sky Watcher 74, Tree of Might, or Wake Up America on Facebook, do you enjoy being taken for a ride, as he says here? Do you enjoy Dark Sky Watcher laughing in your face so that he can talk up his videos and earn more views? Because for Dark Sky Watcher, because he's monetized his videos, more views means more money for him. And we know that he's got a PayPal button on his Ustream channel and on his YouTube channel because he wants to buy more gear. So he's laughing in your face and he's laughing all the way to the bank by talking up these videos and making them into things that they're not just so that he can get more views. If I was a subscriber of Dark Sky Watcher 74, Tree of Might, I think I would be rethinking my support of him, knowing that he has lied to me. Alright, take it easy, Daz. Thanks for doing that for me, bro. I really do appreciate that. You're welcome. Anytime, bro. Anytime. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching. Yeah, we're tracking the same objects, bro. Your numbers and my numbers, I mean, we're off just by fractions, you know what I mean? But that's just the differences between our programs and the hand controller and all the communication. But we're looking in the same field of view with the numbers you're giving me and the numbers I'm looking at. Yeah, we're both in the same spot, right? Like, we just found out they're satellites, right? It's confirmed that they're satellites. But it was one hell of a ride. It was fun. It was exciting.